Alright guys, I hope you're going to like this one. I know I will. It's Crash Team Racing and uh, I'm going to do the adventure mode, of course. So yeah, it's Crash Team Racing, one of my favorite games ever. Who am I going to use? So we're going for the 101 person completion. Uh, not fast. I'm going to go with a classic. I think I'm going to go with Crash. Yeah, let's go with Crash. I'm going to call this one Champ. So as you can see, I already completed the game with Engine and Coco, and now I'm going to do it with Coco's brother, Crash. I thought about doing this playthrough since Crash and Sing trilogy is coming soon, and I know this game won't be featured in that trilogy, but still, I wanted to play that one. So Aku Aku will give us tips. Welcome to which I don't really care about. So the first race is Crash Code. And we're going to go for the trophies first. I don't think I'm going to cut after each... Uh, after each race, because that would be like two minutes videos. I, I think I'm going to go for like... Maybe something like 10 to 15 minute videos. So alright, here we go. So this is Crash Team Racing. You probably already know that game. I'm going to use a lot of Drift Turbo. And you're going to see, I'm not that bad at this game actually. I, well, I almost fell, but I'm not too bad at this game. Not, I did not say I was good. I'm not too bad. There is a big difference. We're going to go for the Platinum Relics as well. But that's a shortcut, because normally you would go under the bridge, but I just... You just drift and whenever the, the bar at the bottom right is red, you, you press L1 and it gives you power boost. I rely on that a lot. And as you can see on the minimap, I'm doing quite a good job. In fact, the only thing I struggle with are the Platinum Relics. Other than that, that should be a pretty quick playthrough. I think this is one of my favorite games on the PS1. I've played so much. And now as you can see I just won my first race. This was it, it was Crash Co. Oh the the top of the screen is clipped a bit. Just notice that. What if I do this? Sorry guys, I'm just going to adjust here. Yeah, this, this shouldn't be too bad. I'm filming with a camera. I don't even have a tripod, so you know, I'm just doing it for fun. I don't want to invest money. just want to have fun playing games that I like. So there you go. So I'm gonna skip it. I mean, well, you can see it once. Like it's a podium, and like, I mean, you get the drill. So that was the first trophy. Yay! Thank you, Aku. But I'm off to my second race. Uh, what's this one? Is it? The Sewer Speedway, and it's Roost Tubes. 
so Roos Tubes is up next. So we're going to raise the first boss on this track. First boss being a Ripper Roo. The blue... I don't know, it's kind of a dog, I guess. I don't really know. So we always start 8. We start in the second line. But usually I get that perfect start and I end up being first or second or, you know. Alright. Need to drop that bottle. Whenever you get ten apples, as you can, well, apples, I know it's called room for fruit. Ooh, I blocked the missile with the bottle. That was perfect. Uh, whenever you get 10 Wumpa Fruits, your power-ups are powered up, if you will, <laughs> so they become better. Oh, almost failed. So I'm going to do my best to, to go through that kind of quickly. Oh snap, sorry guys. That was bad, okay. I'm back on track, let's do this. There you go. There's a second race. This one is Roost Tubes. And you may find that playthrough boring because you won't see a lot. You won't see the opponents a lot. Because I tend to cruise through each race. The Platinum Relics, though, is going to be something. Alright, so that's the second trophy. We're going to. Well. To skip Aku Aku, because I kind of know his advice, great advice, but I know that already, and I guess you probably know that since this game is a classic. So this one is Mystery Caves, and we're going to go for the trophies. So as I said, I'm going to go for the trophies first. Like the first video is going to be the trophies of the first island, then I'm going to go second, third, fourth. And then we're going to come back for the, the tokens and the relics. So that's going to be it. And then there are gems and a lot of stuff. A lot of cool stuff. So I got the perfect start again. And as I said, when you do so, you usually end up first or second. So, yeah. I don't consider this game hard compared to Crash Bash. Getting the the perfect game completion is not hard at all. Crash Bash is the hardest game to get the well, it's 200 person and it's the hardest. So as you can see, I now have eight room for fruits. Ooh, I wanted to get some more, but I would have crashed into the wall, so I was like, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, as I said, so that's a little shortcut, but it slows you down a bit, even though you use turbo and so. So I hold on to that bubble. So as you can see now, my bubble would be blue. So I think it lasts longer. So that's that's the deal with this blue bubble instead of the green one. So of course it offers protection, but you can also shoot your your bubble to an opponent, which uh, which may be useful. All right, so we're in the final lap.
I will use it. I mean, not that someone will get at me. There you go. So that's the third race. And this is Ruse. No, this is Mystery Case. Yeah, there you go. I was like Ruse Tubes. This is the race I did before. So there you go. That's the third race. So now we're going to add to the fourth and last race of the first island before we meet the first boss. Yep. Aqua who's going to be back. I'm just going to skip him. And if you ever skip, you use triangle to skip, by the way. And if you forget, well, you can. What he said, you can go in Aku Aku ends and there, all there. But as I said, it, it's it's useful ends if you start the game, but if you're used to it, I mean, might as well skip it. So this one is Sewer Speedway. This is the fortress in the first island. And. Uh, well, that should be a lot of fun as well. Sewer Speedway. I like that one. That one is great. There is a nice shortcut that I probably will have to use at some point. So there you go on first. Yeah, the shortcut is up there. It's kind of hard to get there, but there's a letter when we're going to do a CDR challenge that, and for the relics as well, I would have to climb up there. That won't be uh, that won't necessarily be easy. And as I said, I won't cruise through the game. The trophies maybe, but then the relics. The relics are what's hard in this game, especially because I want to get all platinum. So yeah, that's a game. It's gonna be somewhat difficult, especially the engine lab. I remember this one. So last time I played this game was during Christmas time. Oh, almost. So it's not, well, it's kind of a while ago, it's been like six, five months and a half, six months. I just want to get the turbo, that would help. But right now they're giving me stuff to throw behind me, which is alright, I mean, I'm first. So. Oh, there you go. There you go. I got it. So this is the shortcut. There you go. Okay, almost fell there. Actually, that's going to be a pretty good lap. Oh, I missed the, the turbo there. Yeah, that's going to be a 47. 25. That was a good lap. Well, that was a good race overall. I did it good. So, in this video, we're going to race against Ripper Roo, and then I'm going to cut this part. So, yeah, it's about 15 minutes now. 14.30. Yes, 14.30. So, just going to race against the first boss, Ripper Roo. So, Ripper Roo, what she does. Well, I guess it's a girl. I don't really know. It's hard to tell. So she throws TNT at you. Basically, that's her attack. And she just spams it, you know? So, uh, she doesn't need to get bugs. Well, she gets one trait, and then she can shoot as long as she wants to. 
so the, the thing is is to stay in front so she doesn't get you so there you go you saw she throws TNT at me and the bosses are better you know they offer some challenge but again if you do the slipstream turbo as I do it shouldn't be a problem really we probably won't see her again but I'm just going to keep my missiles in store in case you know in case she she comes back but the thing is her TNT doesn't stay on, on the track so at least you know you don't have a swarm of TNT on the last lap because that would be something like that would be TNT festival now I fail I don't like that I fail ok alright let's do this last lap final lap let's do this the second lap was slow and the third lap is wow I missed so bad it doesn't really matter we'll finish first still but it's not about finishing first it's about doing a good job okay yeah the third lap was bad okay so that was Ripper Roo and that was the first island so now we're going to go to the second island and the bus is going to be Papu Papu on one of my favorite tracks which is Papu's Pyramid and so I'm going to cut so yeah Ripper Roo doesn't feel good so I'm just going to save and then I'm going to cut the video alright thank you so she, gave, she gives us a key which unlocks the door to the second island or warp room I don't know how you want to call that and yeah thank you Aku I know you 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 have good advice for us but I already know what you're going to say so the green thing on the mini map here is a safe screen so Aku's going to tell us that this is the mode same screen. sorry for his sneeze thank you Aku so we're going to say so 9% in the game going to say and I'm going to see you in the next part so thanks for watching I hope you're going to like this playthrough